Rob Ford's funeral was as paradoxical as his mayoralty. A police pipe band led his hearse from City Hall through downtown streets, followed by somber family members, and then a couple of hundred people. Rob Ford, best man ever! Engaged in what seemed more like a political rally than a funeral, waving Rob Ford banners and chanting their support. We don't know how else to show except showing it with the community. And we are here for the community because we want to see the love for the community because he actually gave one-on-one -on -one to the communities. The procession ended at Toronto's St. James Cathedral, where family, friends and supporters gathered with VIP mourners that included some of Ford's one-time political enemies, Toronto's former mayors and Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne. Former Ontario Progressive Conservative Premier Mike Harris began the eulogies. He believed in, if I can borrow a phrase you may have heard before, doing what he said he would do. And those in public life could all learn a couple of things from him. In his tribute, Ford's brother Doug promised to continue the political fight. Rob, I'm going to miss you like cra crazy. I love you more than anything in the world. And don't worry, Ford Nation will continue. We'll continue respecting the taxpayers. Thank you. Some members of that Ford Nation assembled in a tent set up outside the church. Any mayor needs to take a page from his book because I think that it helps to be with the people. On this day, passers-by seemed willing to forgive Ford's indiscretions, drinking, drug use, and sometimes offensive behavior. Too many he did mistake, too many mistake, but it's human being and nobody can be perfect. One of Ford's two young children gave her own tribute to her father. I know my dad is in a better place now and he's the mayor of heaven now. <laughs> As the city said a final and official farewell to its most controversial mayor, Ford's widow Renata offered in return her own symbols of thanks. Ron Charles, CBC News, Toronto.